Hello, my dear friend. This is Phil again. I am so excited right now. So excited because the PTS is back on live with the new expedition where we can travel to the pit and start a new adventure. But today, I'm not going to be able to have all the time to go through every single daily quest and travel to the pit. What I can do now is to give you some overview of what this patch is and what the new great features we already see in the PTS besides the trip to the pit. I will do another video very soon after I finish the quest and gather the battery so I can travel to the pit and do the quest. I'll do that video very soon. So stay tuned. But for now, this one going to give you some overview on the good improvements. It comes out together with the PTS. Now let's get in. Now finally, I'm in the game after a queuing for longer than 10 minutes, but I hope everything worth it. Now let's go to the West Spring to see the new West Spring Refuge created by the responders. And here you can see Bethesda enhanced the fast travel menu. Now we can actually choose to go inside the building or just travel to the outside of the building. This not only works for voice sprint, it also works for other places, for example, foundations and crate. It's a lovely improvement for the quality of life. Now we can save a loading screen time, which is really the most boring time in the game. Now let's fast travel to voice sprint refuge. That's the main interesting point for this PTS. That's where the expedition starts. Okay, now I'm actually landed inside White Spring. It's currently not called Resort anymore, it's White Spring Refuge. And the whole place is revamped, clearly. And we got new NPCs around this Orlando. I think he is the right person to give you the daily quest so you can fill up your battery. For this moment, I do not have the time to go through the quest yet. Let's quickly go around because I want to see whether the auto melee weapon bug has been fixed because in the last three years we have auto melee weapons but they are not working for example reaper the drill and the most famous one is the chainsaw none of them are viable at this moment inside the game but since we're gonna have auto x added in this pts i hope bethesda actually fixed the auto melee bug. So all the auto melee weapon should be fixed and should be able to apply the proper legendary effect. Let's see whether it is really happening. So the ground floor of the white spring is still the same thing. Nothing changes here. Only the first floor has been revamped. And I believe now it's an instance instead of a public place. So only people in the same team can travel to the same white spring refuge now. Now here's my reaper. Let me see if I can craft it with legendary effects. Oh, it does. I can apply the legendary mode to it now, which you cannot do it previously. And this one is level 50, a proper one with a damage of 62. That's nice. Let me quickly apply a few legendary mode to it. I hope to get a vampire one. After only a few tries, I got my Vampire Reaper. I mean, the second and third effect is really nothing. As long as it's a Vampire one, it should be good enough. Then I need to find Drill and Chainsaw and to see whether they're going to work with the Legendary Crafting or not. Oh, while I'm actually looking around for the Drill and the Chainsaw, I realized there's the new button on the top of the screen on the map window. If you click that, you got the Expedition menu where it gonna shows you the progress of your battery charge. So basically you need to finish the three daily quests, which you can get it from the Orlando, as I showed you earlier in White Spring Refuge. And then you can start a new expedition here, which I believe will give you the option to create a team for expedition where other people can join you. Or you can join another people's expedition team here. Cause there's nothing changed on the public team menu at this moment. So I guess this will be the place you join or form an expedition team. But as I said, I won't have time to actually finish the expedition today. I'll leave it for my next video. Okay, now I got my chainsaw and drill. Apparently I can apply the legendary crafting to both of them. 
just as I did to the Reaper. That's brilliant. That means they are all working properly now. That's very exciting. We can finally use this kind of automated weapon as we're supposed to after three years of waiting. And I can do a quick test on three of them. Let's see whether they work as magically as they should be. Let's use the scavenger as example because they have very very high damage resistance. So all the three weapons I got are vampires. The chainsaw is a two-handed weapon but have the lowest damage only 55 and the drill turned to have the highest one which is 69. I don't know what's the logic behind this why a small drill is much more powerful than a chainsaw. But I mean, everything could be changed between now and the patch to go live sometime in September, I guess. And the Reaper is actually very close to the drill. So let's try them one by one. Let's start with the Reaper. Okay, boy, that gonna hurt a bit. Okay, nine. That's not bad. Let's try the drill. That's 10. Apparently the drill is even better, but I think the drill has the anti-armor mode applied to it. That's probably the main reason we see a significant increase from 9 to 10. Now let's try the chainsaw, the legendary weapon in this game. And it sucks. Only 3 per hit. Why? And it has this strange animation every time you start it. And that's annoying. I really hope Athos is going to change this to make the chainsaw at least powerful than a drill. Okay, let me quickly try whether they actually fixed the vats for automatic melee weapon. Okay, that fills the critical bar and the damage jumped to 24 for 4 hits continuously, which means one full critical bar gonna give us multiple hit chances because the fast attacking rates on those automatic melee weapons. But the vats doesn't work properly yet. Because I cannot hit the mobs even when the vest says 95% hit chance. That's very strange. I think uh, Bethesda needs to work on this. Otherwise the vest will not work with the automatic melee weapon. So I'm really happy that Bethesda fixed the automatic melee weapon and you can use them properly now. I also tested with the power armor apparently. The power armor does not give any damage boost to the, all of these three weapons, not like it does to the mini shredders. So at this moment, the shredder minigun is still the OP weapon. The drill, the reaper, and the chainsaw, they are usable at this moment, especially the drill and reaper. I'm actually looking forward to see how the automatic axe is gonna perform. I mean, it's not gonna be obtained through the pit quest. What we saw in the file is together with the union power armor, both of them gonna be obtained through the season 10 scoreboard. Okay, that's all for today. I need to quickly wrap up this video and get back to the pit quest. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments down below. It's always more than welcome. But until next time, feel again. Out.